Hey guys, welcome to another video. As you probably know, there's already the Windows 11 beta preview out and also Parallels released the new version Parallels 17 which both are better optimized for ARM processors. So I thought I'm gonna give it a try and also update my old how to install tutorial. So as first step you gotta go to the Parallels website and I will give you the link down below and just download the latest version of Parallels. Now that you've done that, you just need to click the link that I gave you down below to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Please just note that the Windows version I linked to you is in German, which is my native language because I couldn't find another one and somehow I couldn't manage to download it from the Windows website even though I applied for the technical preview. And the nice thing is this file contains all the versions Home, Pro, Enterprise and so on and you can later change the language to English anyways with some easy steps and I'm gonna show you also how. So now that you've got both files, the Parallels installer and the Windows 11 ISO file, we can now begin to install everything. In case that you still have an old Windows 10 virtual machine in your Parallels, you can just remove it by right clicking it on it and press remove Windows 10 and I'd suggest you to move it to the trash and then also empty your bin because it can take a lot of space um, which you probably don't have. So after I removed the old Windows 10 virtual machine, I just opened the new installer for Parallels Desktop 17 and it's gonna be downloading first all the files and later bring you to the installation assistant. Okay, so it's starting, now we're here and um, you can just click on continue. After that, it's gonna let you choose the ISO file, um, which is the file that we downloaded before. And here you can select now the version that you want to have. I'm gonna use Windows 11 Enterprise. And after that, uh, I'm gonna choose for games only because I'm mainly gonna um, test games. As you know, I test all the time games. Um, of course, if you want to try it for something else, choose something else, um, but I think most of you are probably gonna choose the same like me. And yeah, after that, it's just gonna do everything on its own. You just have to wait a little bit. Okay, so at this point it already installed everything and you can just press the button down on the right for restarting the virtual machine. Obviously all the steps in between, they're gonna take a lot of more time for you because I cut them out for the video and so it's normal if you have to wait a long time in between but don't worry everything's gonna be fine and as you can see the installation is complete. Um, I'm just gonna try a Parallels desktop. You don't have to buy it, you can use it for free or for trying 14 days. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so now we still have the problem that it's in the wrong language. And you can just go to the search bar, type in what I type. And it's gonna lead you straight there to the languages and if you're gonna pull the window a little bit more down if you extend it um, you can press here which means uh, add new languages and then you can add the language that you want um, as example English 
and then you're gonna press the button here for saying that you want it as your standard language and now it's gonna download the package for the language and now you just have to press yes log out of my account and it can be that maybe some little things are still gonna be in German but the most part is gonna be in English and usually with updates uh, the rest should get also in English but you can see everything here in the menu is now in English and I'd suggest you to download the latest updates and then that's that so thank you so much for watching guys I hope I could help you with this video maybe you can now install on your M1 device also parallels uh, with Windows 11 and in my next video I'm gonna be testing GTA 5 and I hope to see you there too thanks for watching bye